welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, and today we are going to learn to draw Mara Zoo. And you see Mara Zoo here, and um, I've done it on a little bijou tile, and so that's what I'm going to draw on today. And so we'll set that aside, and we'll start with our little bijou tile. There's your, these are two by two, and they're just lots of fun, um, tiny little tiles, quick, easy to do. We're going to start with our pen, and we're just going to draw a spiral. So we're just going to spiral out, keeping the distance on your spiral as equal as you can. That's going to make this tile, and I'm just going to flare out at the end, keeping that keeping that distance equal. And then I'm going to start with the center, and I'm going to draw a curved line, two curves line, and I'm going to fill that in. We're going to kind of make a stripe around this spiral. And I want those lines to be curved a little. So I rotate my tile, and I'm going to draw a little curve line. It's going to make this marazu look like a coiled rope or a coil. And it's just going to look rounded. You can see that that's, and we're just going to continue around. This will spiral. And as we get to the very outside, we're going to change just a little bit. We're going to make a little bump on the outside that drawing. You see, I kind of raised it out right there. i show you again. I'm going to make the two lines, and then I'm going to raise that out, kind of bump out just a tiny bit, and then fill it in. And what that does is that makes these stripes look like they're another, they just look, makes them look like they are thicker, um, piece that's wrapping around that original spiral. It's not something you have to do, but it, it just makes it look a little thicker, like it's another piece of something wrapped around it. Just draw out and then fill in. And I only do that on the very outside edge because you wouldn't see it where it's coiled up underneath. And now we're going to go back and make some stripes in here. So I'm just going to right down through there. Now you can put as many as you'd like or that will fit. You can see I rotate my tile and I can keep my pin in one spot, and I also rest my pen, my hand on the uh, tabletop, and that helps me control a little bit better. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, then you will get notifications of all the videos. I put out new videos on Tuesdays. Thursdays, 
and Saturdays. So subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. And there we have Marazu. Now, I have this little string singing out here, so I'm going to just give it, this time I'm going to give him some little fescue. You don't really have to put anything coming out of there if you don't want to. Of course, Zentangle, you can do whatever you want. But we must shade because shading really makes a, a big difference. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to put a graphite around, starting on the outside edge. A little graphite. Now I'm just going to continue to follow that line. And it's just going to go on that lower edge, going around, just working my way around. I use the side of my pencil, so I lay a pretty thick line. Now I'm going to pick up my shading stump, and I've cleaned this one off with an emery board. Just use, I keep an emery board in is my Zentangle kit and you just rub it on the side and make sure you keep that point. That cleans it off and now I can blend out my graphite. And I want to keep it right on that edge. I don't want to go up into here. I want to keep it out. If I want that light edge. I teach weekly at my library and when I'm teaching if I don't shade my students will say Melinda how do we shade that it just really helps it stand out you can put your initials right there so you initial your art because you have a genuine little piece of art and thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below.